Hi, I'm Chase Levy, a student at Ori Georgetown Technical College. This presentation will cover the aspects of, the, of layout for line and grade in the construction process. The construction layout is an instrumental surveying method that will help lead to the success of a project. It provides the alignment, grades, and locations which guide the construction operations. When starting a project, the surveyor will have the initial layout of a variety of different stakes, including grade stakes, slope stakes, centerline stakes, etc. With this presentation, we are going to focus on grade stakes and slope stakes. Grade stakes indicate the exact grade and elevation to the construction force. The surveyor must consult the plans to determine the exact elevation of the subgrade and the distance from the centerline to the edges of the shoulders. Grade stakes are a set of points having the same ground and grade elevation. They are usually set after the center line has been laid out and marked with hubs and guard stakes. They can be reestablished if the markers are disturbed by construction equipment. Elevations are usually determined by an engineer's level and level rod. One procedure you can use for setting grade stakes is as follows. First, from benchmarks, turn levels on the center line hubs or the ground next to the grade stake at each station. Second, reduce the notes to obtain hub top or ground elevation. Third, obtain the finished grade elevation for each station from the construction plans. Step four, compute the difference between finished grade and the hub or ground elevation to determine the cut or fill at each station. Step five, go back down the line and mark the cut or fill on each grade stake or guard stake. Take a minute to watch this video on the proper way to read a grade stake. Next construction and excavation. We're gonna talk about grading stakes. It's the first step you wanna take to learning excavation. Yeah, yeah. They're important because they show grades, they show cuts, they show fills, they show where everything's going to be on the job site according to the plans. The first number you're going to look at is going to be on your plans. This is stake number 219. You can go to your sheet and look for it. It gives an actual elevation, 6312.9, and that'll be to this pin in front of the stake. And on the other side of the stake, it's going to show finished contour. 6309. So we look at the elevation, and we see what the finish is going to be, and they give us an actual cut. The C stands for cut, and this is how much your cut's going to be 3 foot 9 tenths. Thank you. Yes, sir. Slope stakes are necessary to determine if the roadway is being built to the required line and grade. They are used to ensure that the slopes are graded correctly and the feeler cuts are made to the required elevations. The picture below illustrates the typical installation of a slope stake. As the work progresses and the cuts and feel become more pronounced, care should be taken that the horizontal distances are maintained. Also, due to the construction environment, the surveyor must accept the fact that the grade stakes will be hit by equipment and will need to be replaced throughout the duration of the project. Once the cut and fill grading has brought the work to the proposed subgrade, it must be verified using cross slopes before additional material is placed. A final survey must be conducted once the project is completed in order to provide the owner with a completed layout of the project for future reference. This includes cross sections and locations which are also used to determine the final payment. 